How did you avoid going into that rabbit hole of despair? I mean, you talked about being homeless, living out of your car at 19. A lot of people, especially uh, the current generations of people have had it very easy. We just go just down that rabbit hole, despair, depression, and anxiety. What was it about you that gave you that perspective to be able to look at that dire circumstance of being homeless, living in your car, to be able to have the mind and wherewithal to go, to go create that strategy and pursue that opportunity? I have actually been, I don't even remember how I, I, initially that very first nugget got exposed to him, but I have been studying Tony Robbins and the whole personal development and mindset uh, sphere since I was 10. Since those early, uh, that early age, I remember listening and hearing, listen and associate yourself with successful people and you too will become successful. I remember hearing, change your story, change your life. I remember hearing, uh, you control your thoughts, and your thoughts control your feelings, your feelings control your actions, your actions control results. So once you learn to master your mind, you can learn to master your outcome. Uh, I remember learning the power of goal setting. Um, Tony Robbins used to say, make a goal for your day, make a goal for your week, make a goal for the month, make a goal for the quarter, make a goal for six months, make a goal for the year. And even as that middle school child, I actually had notebook paper taped to my wall where I would write my little goals. And, you know, back then it was, it was see Michael Jackson in concert. It was see Janet Jackson in concert. It was by this particular cassette tape. I mean, it was, it was things like that. It was go see this movie. But what it did is it got me in the habit of goal setting. And then it got me in the habit of the power of actually taking the pen. And when I saw that movie that was on my list, crossing it off the goal list, physically crossing it off the paper on the wall, and then adding a new goal to the bottom of the, of the list. So it trained me to focus on progress. It trained me on the power of incremental goal setting. It trained me on the power of focusing on the achievement of your goal. And it also trained me on the power of every time you meet a goal, you set a new one. It is a constant journey. You don't just, you celebrate your win that you don't just rest on your laurel and say, okay, you know, I'm done. It's that constant progress. So from those lessons that I learned, you know, 35, 36 years ago, I still apply them. I still have goals. I still physically write them down and cross them off. And every time I cross them off, I think, okay, what, what's next? Um, I focus on a culture of progress constantly moving the needle. What can I do in this moment to move the needle to attain my goals? Not, not what can I do this month that can get overwhelming, life happens. But what can I do right here and now that I can control that's gonna move the needle? So what that does is it always allows me to stay in control of my mindset and it allows me to, con to stay in control of my journey no matter what's going on in the, in the outside world.